hello and welcome to our youtube channel in this video we bring to you how to install a modular ceiling in a shipping container house step by step good welcome back shipping containers are made of cotton steel steel is a good conductor of heat and therefore to live in a shipping container home you will need a good design and an effective insulation insulation will not only help regulate temperature inside your container home but will also help prevent condensation Apart from the walls, the other critical place to insulate in a shipping container house is the container roof. Before you insulate the roof, you will need to install a ceiling under the roof. When installing a ceiling in a shipping container house, you either have a framed out ceiling or you use a modular ceiling. A modular ceiling would be an appropriate ceiling type to use with high cube containers. High cube containers are a foot taller than standard containers and therefore they provide you with an extra foot of ceiling height creating extra room for ceiling insulation without compromising the headroom of the habitable space. Without further ado, let's get started. A modular ceiling has got two main components. One is a ceiling rail and the other component would be a ceiling module. First, let's begin with ceiling rail installation. So, what is a ceiling rail? A ceiling rail basically is a steel tube or an angle line bracket welded onto the larger interior side walls of the shipping container just below the container roof so how do you go about installing this ceiling rail one first mark out the height which is approximately 200 millimeters to 150 millimeters below the container roof secondly use a flapper disc to remove any paint on the side wall where the welding will be done this is important because it helps you to prevent any inhalation of fumes from the paint during welding that can be hazardous to human beings number three weld the angle line steel bracket on the either side of the shipping containers and ensure the brackets are welded level at the same height otherwise the modules will not slide in if the railing is not level personally i prefer angle line brackets over steel tubing because of size and also it is easy to conceal the angle line brackets when you are finishing off your interior lining once all these are in place ensure all the electrical wiring is in place before ceiling installation begins once the ceiling rail is in place the next thing we need to sort out is the ceiling modules so first using 15 millimeter plywood panels cut out modules of 2.5 meters long by 1.2 meters wide the 2.5 meter width allows the modules to span across the ceiling in a single run while the 1.2 meter width allow for easy installation of the modules into the ceiling since the modules are stuffed with insulation panels more than 1.5 meter wide can be quite heavy and difficult to lift up and install hence why we are suggesting you use 1.2 meter wide panels secondly cut a timber frame of a similar dimension 2.5 meters by 1.2 meters 
and attach it onto the plywood panel to make the ceiling modules. Apply some silicone onto the plywood and nail the panels onto the timber frame to secure firmly. The timber frame around the plywood panel is necessary in order to prevent the plywood from sagging under the weight of the insulation or warping from the heat under the ceiling. In addition, the frame allows the insulation to hold in place and easy handling during installation. So, at 1.2 meter width, you will require 5 modules for a 20-foot shipping container and 10 modules for a 40-footer. Number 3. Mark out all the outlets for the ceiling lights and switches. If you want the ceiling modules painted, turn the module over and paint it with a white undercoat followed by a final white coat. White paint is good for the ceiling since it increases the amount of reflected light making the container appear lighter and brighter. If you don't like to paint it, you can leave the original plywood look on your ceiling without any paint. Attach a black wooden bead onto the side of the box frame slightly recessed of the ceiling surface to act as a visual barrier and also a visual connector to subsequent modules, hence introducing some design statement onto the ceiling. This will also help you to save on the cost of painting your ceiling. Number four, once the paint has dried off, turn over the module and using 50 millimeter diameter PVC pipes, use a bead of silicone and secure the conduit around the electrical outlets to help prevent any contact between the light fittings and the insulation. Number five, once the framework is complete, it is time to put insulation. So you can pack the inside of the modules with insulation blanket, or if you live in cold climates, you can spray the inside of the module with closed cell spray foam insulation before installing the insulation blanket. By using a hybrid of closed cell spray foam insulation and bat insulation for cold climates, you'll get better R values and proper insulation, hence good temperature regulation and control. Ceiling insulation will not only help you regulate the temperature inside your container, but will also act as a good noise barrier. Once you've inserted your insulation inside the ceiling modules, you cover the insulation with a sheet of reflective bubble wrap using button screws. The reflective bubble wrap is essential to help keep dust away from the insulation and also to help reflect the radiant heat under the ceiling. With insulation in place, lift the modules and slide them seamlessly on the angle line brackets starting from the closed end of the container and move towards the opening or the entrance. The modular panels can be quite heavy depending on the type and the amount of insulation used. If you are doing it as a DIY project, you might need another pair of hands to help you lift and slide the modules through. Finally, finish off the last module with some wooden fascia to close the ceiling gap but allow for proper ventilation. You can introduce container vents at the ceiling height all round your shipping container to ensure the ceiling space is properly ventilated to prevent condensation. If you are using a modular ceiling like this one, remember to install the ceiling first before you frame out the walls in your shipping container house. Why? This is important because it will help you to conceal the ceiling rail when the wall is finished. After all is done and dusted, sit and enjoy 
the charm of your container cabin. So, before we sign off, what are the advantages of using a modular ceiling over a framed out ceiling? The first advantage is, since it's a modular installation, it can be assembled off-site and brought in for installation. Secondly, the ceiling can be easily removed and replaced for repairs compared to a fixed ceiling. Thirdly, it allows flexible installation and easy maintenance of lighting fixtures. Fourthly, it is cheaper than using a framed out ceiling because installing wooden buttons on a steel structure of a shipping container can be quite a challenge since the structure has to remain watertight throughout. Fifthly, it is quicker and easy to install because once the ceiling rail is in place, the ceiling modules are brought and seamlessly slide in under the container roof. Last but not least, modular ceilings have less waste compared to fixed ceilings. They can be assembled in a controlled factory environment, hence minimizing on-site waste. We hope you found our presentation informative enough to help you install a modular ceiling in your own shipping container house. Have we left out anything? Give us your opinion by posting in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our weekly videos and updates on amazing design ideas from shipping containers. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.